What is up guys? Jared Rhodes here, Cold Vision Outdoors. I'm out here in the fish house. I'm not on the lake. I'm actually going to show you a piece of equipment that we picked up this year and some improvements we're doing to maybe make it a little easier to use on the ice. So here I've got my Garmin Live Scope that I picked up on Black Friday at Shields here at Grand Forks. Paid 1,800 American US dollars for this unit and it came with this shuttle, already pre-wired, everything was set up, all I had to do was turn it on, plug and play. Uh, it came with a lead acid battery, weighs about 26 pounds, kind of a heavy unit, um, but we're gonna try to rectify that today. Here in front of me, I have a 48 amp hour, amped outdoors lithium battery. Uh, this battery weighs a fraction of what the battery that came with the live scope weighs, so we're gonna be changing that out and here I've got the Ice Master 910 series shuttle. This shuttle is for this specific Garmin live scope. So it's for the nine inch and 10 inch live scope. It will hold and accommodate for the 48 amp hour battery, which is gonna be huge. It's gonna allow us to use our live scope for 24 hours straight without having to charge. Um, the other thing that's really great is this is a waterproof bag. I'm not sure that this whole bag is waterproof, but I do know that it does not have some of the same qualities as the one here does. So we're gonna go through some of these differences. I'm gonna show you in, in great detail the differences between this shuttle and that shuttle, how this works, and you're gonna be seeing a whole lot more of this equipment in some of our fishing videos. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So first things first, let's look at the Garmin Live Scope shuttle. So basically, we've got the little cradle here, and I'll just turn this off just for these purposes so I can show you how this is set up. So we'll turn the device off. So this is the, the this is the original Garmin Live Scope shuttle. You can take the screen right out there, and you've got this little cradle here. Over here in the side pocket, you've actually got the Live Scope. Um, transducer. That's where I keep it when I'm not using it. Has the wire already around here on the top. It's got a little padding there. I don't know if that was supposed to be in there or not. I just left it. But let's take it out and get a little closer look. But first let's look at the bag here. So the bag you've got on the sides, you've got some mesh pockets on the back of the bag. On the back of the bag, you have an access where you can actually access and look at the battery. And then on this side of the bag, you have a little pocket here where you could put, I guess, uh, you know, some tools or maybe, I don't know that you could fit a, a box for fishing lures or anything, but you could put something in there. And then it's got this awkward strap that I just, I just can't stand. This is literally how it looks with the flap down. So I'm gonna take this out so you can get a better look at the actual shuttle. Okay, so here is the shuttle outside of the bag. And you can see here what it looks like from the back. You've got your battery, everything's wound up here. But that is the original live scope shuttle. That's what it came with. And we're gonna switch all this out today and we're gonna put it in the new bag. So let's go over first off the new bag before we put it in just to see what it looks like before we install it. And then we're gonna show you how to install it. Then we're gonna show you what the difference is. So let's first check the weight on this one. So this is without the bag, 27.5 pounds. Okay, so I've taken the top strap off here. <clears throat> this is the bag this is before you install anything it's pretty much just a hollow shell you've got the shuttle in here and uh, it's got a little uh, rubber padding here for your battery to go so you can kind of see what it's looking like inside quite a bit of padding yeah so quite a bit of padding in here I opened up these side pockets so you could kind of see. This is the side pocket that you're gonna keep your transducer and all your wire. So it's got a little hole here in the side where your transducer wire goes through on the inside of the bag. And your transducer will set here, all your wire will set here in this pocket. 
Now on this side, um, this is kind of neat. This is These are the parts that come with it, by the way. This is your power uh, wire here, and it comes with uh, battery straps to strap it to the shuttle, strap the battery to the shuttle. Uh, and then all the hardware comes in a little bag here. So not a whole lot to the shuttle itself as far as hardware goes, but we're gonna do the install and show you how easy that is or hard it is. I don't know, I've never put one together. Um, but one thing to note here, look at the, the construction or the, I guess the hardware on the strap. This is the carry strap. It's got a little carabiner hardware, which makes it easy if you're just gonna strap and unstrap, maybe to, uh, you know, I did that one handed just now, which most carabiners sometimes are hard to do that way. But um, say you were gonna put this strap through something to carry it, uh, maybe on an ATV or something like that, you could just strap and unstrap that. First thing it says to do is use these rubber washers and attach these barrel nuts. Once I got the shuttle fully assembled, I decided to get a weight and we had to just kind of put all of this wire and transducer on top of the shuttle because there's not a keeper on this shuttle. The keeper is actually in the bag on this model. So what we did is we just kind of threw all this on top here and if I had some cord keepers, I would have used them, but I didn't have any handy. So it's kind of funky looking, but we got an accurate weight. I do believe everything was on top of the scale and it weighed in at 19.4 pounds. So we did lose some weight definitely on that transfer. This is a completed install. We're now at 22.3 pounds. So we lost approximately five pounds switching to the Ice Master. On IceMasterFishing.com, you can purchase this unit for $375 Canadian, which is $296 US. We love the fact that you can actually put a tackle box in the side compartment. This is really turning out to be a cool unit. We're glad to own it.